Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Sheen, your host. This is Money Matters. In this channel, we talk about money, finance, how to grow your money, how to invest your money, how to make money work hard for you. Little different setup. This is my uh, usual live uh, live video setup, but I'm going to just record a video uh, talking about Tesla's battery day, why uh, people think it was such a huge flop. Uh, so, you know, one of the reasons I think is you got to realize that this battery day was meant to go on in April. Uh, but because of the whole, you know, situation going on, they weren't able to do that. So it was a, a lot of time, you know, another, was it like four or five months uh, that people had to speculate, people had rumors, leaks or came out. So uh, pretty much everything, nearly everything that they presented, uh, everybody already knew about. So there's no, uh, no fantastic, amazing news. Everybody already knew about what was going to, what was going to come out. Uh, and, uh, you know, some some things weren't said, uh, just outright said, like the million mile battery, like those words were never used. Uh, one of the reasons I think is because uh, the whole Osborne effect, because uh, Elon Musk knows if he overhypes something uh, that we're going to have this next generation battery, it's going to go into uh, this, 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 this and vehicle. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a much, much better battery. A lot of people are going to just stop ordering Teslas and they're just going to wait until the new one comes out. Right. They're going to wait till the new battery comes out. So he has to be careful about how much he hypes, how much he gives out, how much he talks about it. So they never actually use the words million mile battery. But uh, I think when you just look at the battery that they're producing and just calculate the energy density uh, of the new, the new battery, the cost reduction, uh, that would equate, equate to roughly a million miles. For now, there's no reason to announce a million mile battery. There's no reason to hype a million mile battery. Uh, like I said, because if, if he does start hyping that, people are gonna not buy the current the current vehicles right so i think that's the the second reason why it was kind of uh you know not not spoken about uh the the third reason why i think people think that battery day was like a, a dud is just people are just uh, we're just in a society that wants everything now uh nobody wants to wait six months or a year or god forbid three years right everybody wants something now like they came on stage uh and you know this event was not an event it wasn't a product release event you know it wasn't like here's our new hatchback vehicle here's our new vehicle look uh you could buy it tomorrow it's on sale you know that's what like the average you know person is is like really excited about the a new shiny vehicle a new shiny toy uh, that's what gets people excited but they were on stage and they were just geeking out about batteries about reduction uh and so that's why I, and I think a lot of people just didn't understand and just went right over their head. The same thing happened with the Cybertruck. When the Cybertruck was released, people didn't understand. Like, this is game changing. They're, they're, they have a, a truck that could go uh, over 300 miles on, a, on, their, on the battery and they're selling it for uh, $39,000. <laughs> That's a game changer. Why, how can they sell it for that cheap? I mean, a, F1, a Ford F-150 uh, you know, with with equivalent specs, you know, they could go up to sixty thousand dollars. So uh, nobody really, right off the bat, thought about how how were they able to do that. Well, number one is the battery technology that they are working on to make it that cheap. Number two, uh, just the the materials, the design, the simplicity of the vehicle, uh, the the manufacturing of the vehicle uh, is a lot easier, a lot simpler because uh, you have you know essentially no body stamping, no painting. Uh, you just put the, put the pieces together, slap it on top of the skateboard, and boom, you can sell it for $39 at the base price. So that just went way over people's heads. Same thing happened with Autonomy Day, where they're talking about their self-driving technology. Just way over people's head. And like I said, people in the market just don't understand it. They just don't get it. They just don't appreciate it. But that is the time for uh, people to start buying. So uh, I'm gonna go over through my, my slide presentation real quick. So basically here we go, Tesla stock is down uh, $380, down 10% on the day, uh, which is a pretty nice discount. Uh, it's not a big enough discount for me to get back into it. Uh, I'm looking for Tesla down to the low 300s, uh, if not up into like the 290s, uh, 280s is where I'm really, really excited uh, to get Tesla stock uh, purchase it again. Uh, but still, even now at 380, even at 350, uh, I'm not too interested. So that's what it is. A good discount. Uh, I mean, I think if you are uh, not in, uh, it, it would be a good idea to put at least some of your money into Tesla stock uh, at these lower price points. Because after all, in just a couple of weeks, uh, we're going to hear about Q3 numbers. And uh, Q3 numbers are traditionally very, very strong for Tesla. Uh, so Q3 numbers, uh, you know, Model Y is ramping. A lot of people have been purchasing Model Ys. 
So I expect their, their Q3 numbers to be really, really big. Uh, and that will be probably the last time you're going to be able to see or buy Tesla stock in the 300s. Uh, so take advantage of it now is my opinion, just my opinion. Uh, so, uh, you know, put some money down is my opinion. Uh, if I was not in Tesla stock at all, if I had zero dollars in, I would put, uh, I don't know, you know, probably like 20 percent of my of my my income that I was gonna invest maybe put 20% into at 380 see what happens if it goes down more I'll put more in average down cost basis average your cost basis down and if it goes back up to like crazy levels like 450 480 dollars I probably just hold on uh, and just wait uh, wait till it comes back down a little bit then keep on buying it's my opinion so uh, basically, they they had uh, these five factors that were able to reduce their cost of the of the battery. They you know, re redesigned the battery cell, basically redesigned the factory to, to make these cells uh, and new uh, anode materials, new cathode materials, and vehicle vehicle integration with the with the cell battery pack. So we're gonna go over all that real quick. So basically, they unveiled their own battery, 4680. This, the, this is the Tesla battery now. So now we're not talking about batteries that anybody else could get. Nobody else can get these batteries. Everybody could get Panasonic batteries and LG batteries and high, I'm sorry, and um, uh, Cattle CATL batteries, but no one could get this Tesla Roadrunner battery. It's only available to Tesla. So people uh, used to say, oh, Tesla's battery tech, That's uh, they're just buy it off the shelf. Um, well, that's that wasn't true to begin with because just because you have the battery cell uh, doesn't mean uh, that you that you can effectively uh, put those into packs, put those into modules, uh, manage the heat, and and you know that takes uh, extra uh, extra technology that Tesla Tesla does have. But now uh, Tesla has their own battery cell, so they have their their own battery cell, their own manufacturing process. Uh, so people that said that. You know, people that said that you could get uh, any, any of those cells, any manufacturer get it. That's no longer true. So they're aiming to reduce the cost of battery by 50% in just three years. Think about how massive that is. I don't think people appreciate how massive that actually is. The cost of a, a battery roughly now uh, in, a, in a Tesla vehicle is about ten to $12,000. If they cut that down to 50%, uh, battery would be $5,000, less than $5,000 potentially. So you know that that is a massive reduction uh, in the cost of a battery uh, so overall uh, they made you know the changes to the cell manufacturing the cell design anode cathode materials uh, and integration of the battery pack to the vehicle as a structural element uh, with that they have a total of 56 uh, uh, percent percent uh, dollar per kilowatt hour reduction so uh, more than 50 percent reduction so uh, we're going to talk about how much that that equates uh, roughly estimate how much that is uh, for kilowatt hour for uh, per battery. So uh, first of all, the range increase they have uh, roughly 54% range increase. You know, with all with all that they've done. So Model Y currently is roughly about 300 miles, just a little over 300 miles uh, on the long range Model Y. So a 54% increase would be roughly more, just a little bit more than 450 miles on a uh, long range model y that's well exceeding uh gasoline vehicles uh in in that range you know well exceeding Cor corollas camrys uh, accords so you know, you know this is massive news people are saying oh they're, they're they, they didn't give anything massive Th this this vehicle can now go on a single charge more than any honda accord many any honda civic so uh range anxiety is going to be out the window uh percent uh 56 percent uh, reduction in uh, in dollars per kilowatt hour and 50 uh, sorry 69 percent uh, reduction in uh, investment per a gigawatt hour so uh, they also made the cylindrical cells bigger uh, but you know they by making the cylindrical cells bigger traditionally you're going to have problems with heat uh, but they solved those problems by uh, making a tabless design uh, and also they didn't talk about this either but if they they, they solved the the, the heat issue uh, because with a larger battery uh, there's more distance that the electrons have to travel more distance is going to be more heat but since this they have a tabless design uh, they were able to fix that problem so you do not have this heat problem therefore they didn't talk about this but uh, i am predicting that they have also increased how fast you could charge your battery uh, and i've been researching and just reading some um, some posts that uh, people are predicting that it's at least a 50% uh, reduction in charge time. So uh, that could be into the 15 minutes, 10, 15 minute charge uh, for for a zero to 80% charge uh, on a battery. So, 
So like I said earlier, uh, the design of the of the battery. So right now the the, the design of the battery is is the, the battery is just uh, just to hold the battery. There's no structural component there. Uh, but their new design, uh, basically they're able to use the battery as a structural component of the vehicle. Uh, so uh, basically the vehicles vehicles are their vehicles are now going to essentially be three main parts. There's going to be a front end casting just one huge front end of the vehicle uh, that's casted out of one uh, one solid piece of metal uh, the rear end casting that's casted again one solid piece of metal and those two pieces uh, are going to be uh, attached to the center structure which is the battery uh, and the battery now would be a structural component of the vehicle uh, so 370 uh, fewer parts uh, roughly uh, uh, a range increase of uh, a pro a opportunity of 14% uh, range increase and 10% uh, mass reduction. So uh, another thing that they announced was the Plaid Model S. Uh, so I think the reason that they did this was uh, because they had to just you know shut Lucid Air, just uh, sh shut shut them up basically. Uh, so uh, they're taking back the reins because their Lucid Air uh, did did take the reins from them. Uh, they had a, a sub 10 second uh, quarter mile time. Uh, I think their zero to 60 was uh, 2.2 seconds, I believe. So the Plaid Model S. A quarter mile time of less than nine seconds, which is absolutely the fastest production vehicle ever. Um, zero to 60 time in less than two seconds and 520 miles uh, of range. And of course, th uh, this is going to have the new battery, uh, the new Tesla Roadrunner battery. Uh, the Plaid Quad, uh, sorry, Plaid Tri Motor uh, powertrain uh, will be $134,000. So uh, basically, uh, they're going to half the cost of batteries. Uh, so roughly, we believe that Tesla's battery uh, is $110 per kilowatt hour. Uh, so uh, the, the magic number is actually 100, 100 kilowatts per hour. That's when you reach price parity with a gasoline vehicle. That's when the, basically the cost of a gasoline vehicle right off the lot, right off the dealer's lot, uh, would be the same as getting a Tesla vehicle, uh, get, getting an electric vehicle if they brought the cost down to 100 kilowatts per hour. But Tesla is saying that they are able to half that. Uh, so we're looking at roughly $20 per kilowatt hour. So now we're, we are way cheaper, way cheaper to buy an electric vehicle uh, than to get, get a comparable gasoline vehicle. So uh, that equates to 25, a $25,000 vehicle that Tesla uh, said that they are planning to produce uh, within three years. Uh, the battery in that would only cost $2,500. So... Uh, that's why they could they could sell a twenty five thousand uh, dollar electric vehicle and still make a massive profit on it because their their battery technology is so good. Uh, and just to make you understand how massive that is, how massive a twenty five thousand dollar EV vehicle is, uh, just compared to the current EV vehicles uh, offered, probably uh, other than Tesla, the more more popular electric vehicles it would be like the Chevy Bolt. Uh, and the Chevy Bolt starts at thirty-six thousand uh, dollars for an EPA mileage of two hundred fifty-nine miles only. Probably the next one is the Nissan Leaf, and the Nissan Leaf starts anywhere from thirty about thirty-two thousand uh, dollars to forty about forty-four thousand uh, dollars. So you know that just put things into perspective. Uh, Tesla is able to if Tesla is able to offer a twenty-five thousand dollar vehicle uh, that probably could have a range of at least three hundred miles, if not more. Uh, on a single charge uh, and you know have full self-driving uh, autonomous vehicle for $25,000 uh, that 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 is mind-blowing that that was that was the whole presentation of how they can offer a $25,000 vehicle uh, you know <laughs> the, the 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 only way was to drive down the cost of battery guys uh, you know that's my video that uh, people just don't I just don't appreciate how uh, massive that their their battery technology is the battery lead is uh, and that's going to drive down the cost and that's how Tesla is going to become a billion a uh, trillion dollar market cap company uh, how they're going to be able to, to uh, produce millions of vehicles uh, where they're, they're, this this year they're only expecting to do about 500,000 so uh, that is the that is the big news that that is people people that just don't understand don't appreciate it but uh, in due time uh, when when uh, you see Tesla started produce millions of vehicles uh, and they are pushing a market cap of a uh, trillion dollars that's when people are going to realize uh, and then by that time it's going to be too late by that time uh, 
you, you're not going to be able to get Tesla stock in the $300 anymore. Guys, that's my video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Really helps out the channel. Uh, consider signing up for our membership to my channel or supporting me on Patreon. Really helps out the channel. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I uh, have almost uh, 7,000 uh, subscribers now, so I appreciate each and every one of you. Have an awesome week. Have an awesome weekend. Catch you in the next one.